So if we start, say, with the box, how do you see that shaping up? Where do you thought of these? We were thinking along here, three, okay. three boxes along here. One. To try and draw your eye and see. Two. And what about the cones? The cones, we're thinking to have one here. Yeah. One here and one here. Okay, yeah, to create a kind of gateway as we're going through here. So let's start over this side. So you think one there? Yep. That's it. So we have structure either side of the path there. Yes. yes. Structure either side of the path there. Yes. yes. And a line cut. Fine. Good. That makes sense. So now we're thinking of more structure, the biggest plants. Let's get these agapanthus out. Yeah. How had you thought of them working? We wanted to have the height kind of maybe in the centre, and then we were kind of thinking of having grasses around so you could look okay. through. Seems to be going well, but perhaps Syra hasn't done quite as much research as she thought. Agapanthus flowers best when it's crammed into a container. Right. Put this into this nice rich soil, you'll have lots of leaves and no flowers. Oh, right, OK. We don't want that. So either they've got to go somewhere with poor soil and preferably a bit stony, or in a pot. Mm -hmm. Right. Having worked so hard up to this point, Tariq is not going to be deterred. Yeah. Can we plant them in a pot in the ground? You could. You could do that. And we've got six of them, so do we all stick them all together in one big pot? Or? Yeah, because these are quite small. I mean, you could, you could... Because they like to be crowded, you can cram them into a pot. You probably what you'd do is have two pots and have three in each yeah, pot. Yeah, that's what we'd want to do. Uh, and you would pack them tight. Mm. Don't give them too much room. Mm. They, they need only about an inch around the outside of soil, and that would work. Alongside the Agapanthus, Syra has chosen Verbena and Echinacea to add height. While fountain grass and Mexican feather grass soften the overall look. This is a plant which you grow as much as anything else for its texture. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, Beautiful. it's... Absolutely. And Beautiful. the one thing they need and they like is good drainage. Right. So this is, you know, when we saw the garden in yeah. Chelsea yeah. and they had the silver bits that were in with the yeah. purple. That's where I got the inspiration for these. So many plants. From. Here's a thought. You could do that. That's nice, actually. What we're trying to do is build up a rhythm of colour and texture and shape that feels natural, but has actually got a very distinct colour palette and, and texture. This is all quite light mm. and soft, both in colour and, and shape. There are no spiky plants. No. There's nothing too rigid or, or hard, and the grasses make it softer like that. I think this is progress. The progress, to me, is that you're thinking about how plants work.